are. This is Ashes of the Singularity from Stardock and Oxide. Now, I want you to look at these numbers. So this is the, the game. Thousands and thousands of units on the, in the world at the same time. Look at that. It's insane. What I want you to see, this is the DirectX 12 version. Now, look at the submit time. Six milliseconds. Now, if you're not, not thinking, this means nothing. Right? One millisecond. Now, let's go look at DirectX 11. Submit time. 35 milliseconds. Now, the submit time isn't the only thing, right? Your overall average frame rate, see, is, look, it's 30 frames a second in this scene. And then it'll go way down uh, when you get to a busier scene. And it's like, you see that went down to 14, and it gets a little bit choppy. But here, I mean, you're at, you know, 40 some frames a second. And this is running, what is this, what? 1920, uh, it's 1920 by 1080, right? So, now to be fair, um, the final version will run great on DirectX 11. I mean, we don't, we don't need to display, like, as an example here, visible particles. You know, we got 50 some thousand visible particles. A typical PC game might have like 70. It's, in, it's so it's, I mean, that's why we're, we're talking numbers like no one has ever seen in a game before. Like, this, this is just one little battle going on, but this is not like the battle, this is, ooh, and zoom out, it's, there are, ba yeah, there are many battles going on across this world, and this is on a small map, I can even, let's see, there we go, so it's a very, very busy world, nothing's ever done this, so what's crazy is that this game's still like a year away, so we won't even go into early access until the summer, now people who pre-order from us will probably give access to the game a little bit earlier than the uh, early access on Steam. But still, this is like, this is what the next generation hardware and software brings to the table.